What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to our first vlog. I'm Shantice Gary. This is my boy, D. Drews. We are currently cruising through Kentucky right now on our way to Nashville for a bachelor party. So our whole purpose of starting this thing off was to kind of show people how to eat, exercise, while having a good time being on the road. So I'm a personal trainer and I own a gym. Um, we both are from Elkhart, Indiana. Well, I'm not. I'm from Elkhart, Indiana. My boy Drew is from Muncie, Indiana. But I own a gym back in Elkhart. I'm a personal trainer. And that's probably one of the biggest questions I get from people. So when they go on vacation, when they're taking trips, they feel like that's just an excuse to do whatever you want to. That's when they start eating all the crap and then they come home and they, I mean, you just don't really feel good about that. So we're gonna be recording our meals, doing some workouts. It's really hard to work out in hotels sometimes depending on what type of equipment they got, but we'll make it work with what we got and maybe we can give you guys some tips and ideas on some things you can do when on the road. Got anything to throw in there? No, I just uh, I really think what we're looking to do here is uh, capture kind of the sacrifices you make um, when you're focusing on your overall fitness uh, you put a lot of time and effort in uh, you know during the week during your routines get yourself into a, a good shape that you feel comfortable with and like Shantis mentioned you, you go on vacation and you kind of feel the urge to hey let's let's let this loose and um, you know life you make a lot of choices in life and uh, some of those are you know, the, the good outweigh the bad. So you'll probably see on this trip, we eat some things that we probably wouldn't during our regular week because um, we are treating ourselves, but at the same time, we're still trying to keep some good principles in practice um, and also just uh, keeping our overall health up as we uh, enjoy this time with our friends and, and uh, celebrate one of our buddies who's, who's gonna be looking to get married soon. Absolutely. So on this channel, I'm not gonna just be preaching keto is the main thing for everybody, but it's really worked for me wife and a lot of my clients um, so that's that's gonna be a little bit about what it's what I'm talking about but like I said Drew's is intermittent fasting and I'll show you guys his transformation pictures and he's 60 pounds down 60 yeah, pounds down like more around 65 right um, now oh, down 65 pounds in what a year a year yeah you just you know sometimes I, th I think everybody can kind of relate life gets in the way of uh, sometimes your overall goals and um, like Shanti said, you know, there's diet plans out there now that can get you where you need to be very quickly, 20, 30, 40 days. But, uh, you know, for people that are following this channel, I think one of the biggest benefits you'll get is seeing how you transition those habits into a lifestyle of uh, good continuous fitness and health. Um, you know, those, that's kind of what it's all about. There's a short-term reason you do a lot of things, there's short-term goals, you start seeing short-term success. But once you uh, implement that long-term goal, and start seeing that vision, I think uh, that's what we're really looking to share on this channel. Yeah, we ain't gonna make Drew do too much talking because he is driving right now. But we're about probably an hour away from Nashville now. Once we get there, we are going to try to find us a good barbecue restaurant. Um, and I will eat keto on this meal so you guys can see what, uh, just some different options you can do when you're on the road. Uh, I'm probably gonna force Drew to eat keto this first meal too. So we'll show you guys what we get when we get there, but hopefully we can keep you updated this whole entire trip. We're looking forward to it, getting to see some friends we haven't seen um, for some time now. So it should be a very good weekend, but we will check in with you soon uh, for lunchtime. Later. Get this food, bro. I got a wedge brisket salad. So we got a wedge, some uh, blue cheese crumbles, ranch, some brisket. Um, then over here, we got some broccoli salad, green beans, and some ribs with a dry rub. Not fooling with the sauce, um, but this looks plain. 
I'm about to, I'm about to smash. I'm just being honest. Um, then let me show you what my boy Drew's got. Drew's went with the brisket salad as well. Um, look at all this bread they gave us. Then we had like these pancake things inside our brisket salad. So we're not messing with that. We had the broccoli, coleslaw, and he got a quarter chicken. Bro, you about to smash? You about to get it in. Um, but we in Nashville. It's crispy lunch. I'm telling you, we're about to demolish this because we've been fasting almost all day. So uh, smash time, and then we'll check it in. What's going on everybody I just wanted to drop in because I just realized I mentioned that this vlog was gonna be a lot about keto um, a lot about how my keto journey has been and my wife as well and then my clients and people I've been putting through um, the diet but then I realized I didn't even explain what keto was um, I feel like it's super popular right now everybody's kind of jumped on board with at least giving the keto um, ketogenic diet a try but I guess I just assumed you guys knew what it was and I shouldn't do that so keto is a very high fat diet um, with extremely low carbs so with a keto diet your fats are going to be anywhere from 75 to 80 percent of your calories and your carbs are going to be down to five percent or less and really to be honest your carbs only come from um, vegetables so I know a lot of time when I tell people it's low carb, they think, all right, then I just can't eat as much bread and pasta and stuff as I used to, when in actuality, you can't eat that stuff at all. Um, it's very moderate protein. Um, so 20% of your protein, 25% at the most um, of your calories is gonna come from protein. Um, I've been doing the ketogenic diet myself for about a year. I actually started when after my son was born, which his birthday is coming up this weekend, which is super exciting. But it was a thing for me where I've tried, I can't even name how many different diets I've tried. Um, right before I was doing keto, I was doing a carb cycling diet and that was kind of my go-to diet to get, uh, get lean and get the abs popping and all that stuff. Um, and the carb cycling diet was very, very effective for me. It was very effective for my, my wife, my clients, everybody that I put on it. But it was just things about the carb cycling diet that I hated that for me wasn't sustainable. We were meal prepping every Sunday, probably three to four hours every Sunday, just nothing but cooking, like 30, 40 meals at a time. And then at the beginning of the week, that was fine. It was, it was nice being prepared. It was nice having those meals on hand. But by the time Thursday and Friday came and I was still eating the meal that I cooked on Sunday, it was just, it was disgusting to me after a while. You know it's bad when you have to open a meal and question whether it's still good or not, but that's all you got to eat, so you eat it anyways. I was just sick of living that, that lifestyle. So keto has been a much more sustainable life, lifestyle diet for me um, because that's what it is now. It's a, it's a lifestyle. It's something that I, I do, and I don't even realize that I'm dieting anymore. Um, when I first started, it was kind of like that because I was still figuring thing out, things out. But um, like I said, I've been doing it for a year, and this is just how I live my life now. Um, I eat tons of fats, good healthy fats, um, very little protein, which was very new to me at the beginning because I was eating tons of protein um, when I was carb cycling. So I went from eating 200 to 225 grams of protein a day down to, I mean, 110 grams and less. So that, that was a big jump for me. Um, but I mean, keto has been great. I don't have to meal prep anymore. I don't have to, I mean, eat six to eight times a day, which I was doing before. And that, that was kind of taking a toll on me and stuff. I felt like I just had such a, a job with cooking and eating. And now I can just, and I can eat when I'm hungry. I'm not hungry every two hours. Um, so this has been way, way more sustainable for me. 
And to be honest, the food is excellent. Fats make your food taste so much better. Cooking my eggs and chicken and beef and stuff, you cook it in butter and you can add cheese. So it's just, I don't know, it's been a big change for me in our lifestyle. Um, so I just wanted to go in a little into about what keto is, because I just, like I said, I assume you guys already knew and I shouldn't have did that. But um, we'll be getting into a lot more detail about keto. Um, I'll show you tons of transformations of people that's going from, um, I mean, 300 plus pounds and they've dropped 40 to 60 pounds in less than six months. And I'll show you people that have been already fit and they've been able to get lean and sustain um, abs and the tonus they want without really depleting their muscles and, I mean, starving themselves. We'll get into that in my next couple of vlogs. I'm really be going going to go into details um, showing you guys how this works how you can how you can try it yourself and um, just that is keto doesn't have all these bad effects that people try to put on it they say you can't build muscle I've been able to build a ton of muscle while I've been doing keto um, I'll show you guys pictures of that too so um, I don't know I'm kind of just here to disprove the naysayers on keto that way you can actually have a solid chance at trying it if you don't like it then no problem, do something else, but you can't really give, write it off without giving it a fair chance first. So um, that's all I wanted to say. I hope that helps you guys and that makes the rest of the video make a little more sense. Um, got some more vlogs coming out soon. One this weekend that I'm really excited about. You guys will get to meet my wife and a few of my uh, athletes that I have at my gym. Um, so it's going to be some great stuff. So I'll talk to you guys soon. And be happy. So we're on our way home from Nashville, and Derek has to go to the bathroom extremely bad. And there's only one gas station available, and the bathroom's not open to the public. <laughs>